finish in our allotted time on February 1st, 2022 at our February stated meeting. Um, and one of those matters involved the, um, the, the language um, of the um, um, disclosure form that is getting ready, that's nearing the moment at which it will be um, made available to people to start filling out their 2022 financial disclosures, which are for the year of 2021. Um, those are due, I believe, at the end of April, correct, Ellie? April 30th, okay. Um, and when last we were together, there had been an issue raised, I think primarily by Lisa regarding um, something that was um, in on, I believe it is schedule A, am I correct, Kelly, that it's schedule A? Okay. Um, and the way that, um, that a, um, that a property, which is somebody's residence, is referenced, referred to, and the extent to which questions are asked regarding that. We had a lengthy conversation regarding um, whether the way it came out accurately reflects what the, um, what the commission had intended and decided back at the meeting, I think was the December meeting, on this. Um, I will say that, um, and, and we, we weren't able to quite finish that discussion. Um, I will say that it was pointed out then, and with the ensuing days, um, has become even more the case that there is very limited time to deal with this. And we have heard repeated, um, um, statements from I, I from Kelly and I think perhaps also Susan um, regarding just the fact that um, IT which would have to make any changes is extremely busy that has been something we've heard about through a number of months for different reasons um, so I will tell you that coming into this um, I my view right now is that regardless of regardless of what may have been an intent here, um, that as a practical matter, I am not, it, it, the impression I have, and I'd like to hear from both Kelly and Susan on this, the impression that I have is that as a practical matter, it's not like this can really be further tweaked at this point, given our very real need under the code to get these things out and available for people. Anyway, the reason, by the way, that I'm saying, I'd like to hear from Kelly and Susan is that since they are the counting employees on the call right now, they are the people who might actually have that information. I know that some statements were made about that last time, um, although I'm not sure that Susan had a full opportunity to say anything well, about I can, it. I can tell you right now, because I, I work extensively with the Office of Information Technology. They are slammed. Um, the county executive has a lot of initiatives he's trying to get done. They do not have adequate staff to do additional work, and this would be considered an enhancement. So it would go into the enhancement queue. I pulled a lot of favors to get OIT to jump us to the head of the line on the last thing, and I they're not going to be able to do it for this. It, it is a coding thing. It's not a quick fix. Um, and, and just to be totally candid, I used to review the disclosures before Kelly became the, um, the um, executive director. I only know of one situation where somebody did, somebody reported residence without um, either owning or renting. And that woman retired a number of years ago. I, I don't think this is going to be a real issue. And I would think that we should let it go this year, see what the response is, see if anybody raises any questions. 
if it's an issue for somebody, we can address that as a one off. But I, I seriously doubt you're going to have anybody that is going to um, answer that question that way. I think everybody so, pretty much rents or owns. So, Susan, thank you very much for that. Um, Kelly, is there anything that you would like to add? Particularly, I don't mean to say that you can't say something else, but um, I would particularly like it if you would share any additional um, op, um, impressions you have with respect to um, what I had mentioned that I thought that the impression I'm getting, but third hand, is that it is an impractical, that practically speaking, frankly, there's nothing that can be done about it right now, given this timeline anyway. Do you have anything on that that you can share? I don't mean to say you can't say anything else. No, only that um, IT, um, I've asked for a number of projects from IT to include the lobbyist form, which I did all of that over the summer. I haven't heard anything from IT about that. A case management system for the inspector general's office, which was designed, went through all levels of review in July. I haven't heard anything about that. You know, um, I get emails from Jeff. I can't plan them. He sent me one in August about, you know, putting the other form up and, um, his time is very, very limited. I try to communicate with him and I have to go through project managers. Um, I would think it's extremely unlikely that any changes IT could make. I don't want to say impossible, but I think extremely unlikely. And I do think that Sue called in favors for the December um, edits. So, um, I mean, I say that like called in favors, like, I don't mean that. I just mean that she picked up the phone and, our, and again, stressed how important they were complimenting the things that I had said. Um, so thank you for that. Um, I think that there had been at 1 point in our last call, something where there had been a, a proposal. Um, when things have been discussed was to go ahead and to ask for this change at that time. I remember that Laura in particular had said, um, that that sounded. Sensible to her subject to having what I think you called Laura, the blessing right, of, of Susan. Um, we've heard. Um, cause, cause again, as, as I thought about it over the last week, I was focused on this issue of, you know, as a practical matter, is there anything that can be done? I don't think we need to get into, um, exactly what little, you know, process, um, developed that these, these are the exact words that are in it right now. Um, from my perspective, um, it seems to me that there are several ways we can go, and I just want to kind of put them out first, but then I want to hear from the 3 commissioners. Um, that, you know, 1 thing obviously is that we could go forward and say, we, we, we want to do this, but I am, um. You know, to me, there's no point at all in doing that right now, given what Susan is saying and and also Kelly, but. Susan seems to be the one who knows who had a little bit more first hand knowledge of that. Um, another thing that could be done is that we could simply table the entire issue and wait several months to see what, you know, how things are looking at that point. Um, yet another thing we could do is we could simply decide right now that whenever the time is ripe again, um, perhaps before sometime in to be before next year's rollout um that you know that we could um make this request um we could also say that the next time we're making any other changes that we should make that request at that time like i said we could also simply table it um the sense that i had last time was that the um the consensus of the commission was that it um, the a preference of having the change, but I'm simply saying as a practical matter to me, it's looking to me from what I'm hearing that that can't be done now. 
So with those possible suggestions queued up and with all commissioners, of course, being quite able to make their own suggestions as well, I just thought I would make my observations first. Um, I'd like to hear from the various commissioners. It, are there of Laura, Lisa and Otis? Would any of you like to go first? Or do I have to call on somebody? I will. <laughs> Thank you, Laura, very much. Um, for the real estate uh, point of view, I can definitely attest the OIT is, I know they are changing the permit process to all electronic and just that in itself is like, never been done huge projects that I know, I know of one huge project going on. So I can imagine how backed up they are. Um, so I, I am fine personally with um, rolling it out as is. And if there's any conflicts dealing with them 1 on 1, just so we can, I mean, get the form out if they have to have it back by April 30th. Um, definitely want to get it out as quickly as possible. Um, and then trying to, you know, make revisions as. OIT becomes available. Um, it's kind of where I feel. Okay. Thank you, Laura. Would either of the other 2 commissioners, Lisa or Otis like to go next? Um, I'll go. I, I agree with Laura that rolling it out now as is makes sense. Um, and it's the only practical solution. Uh, I would be in favor of deciding now to make the change whenever OIT is able to make it in the future. Um, Otis, would you like to say anything at this point? I Yes, I, I would compare with uh, Lisa and Laura uh, that we roll it out now and maybe look to make adjustments in the future and um, go forward with it. We spent quite a bit of time trying to make these adjustments. I would go one step further to maybe at some point you know, I realized the, you know, the um, LTI may be super busy, but, you know, the role that we have as commissioners, I think it's critical. I think it's important. And the fact that the county doesn't have the time or maybe it's not willing to bring on additional resources, professional people to carry out the responsibility of the government. And this is an operation of the government. You know, I'm just not real happy with that process. We, we you know, we, we're expected to deliver a professional product and we need the tools to do that. And right now, um, you know, IT been jammed because it's not enough people, enough resources. I, you know, that's just poor, in my opinion. The administration is aware of that. Uh, unfortunately, we're hamstrung by the budget that the county council approved, and you know, our resources primarily come from taxpayers. So, yeah, I'm aware. You know, yeah. That's yeah. I mean, I I don't disagree with you, but we're all we're all doing the best we can with the limited resources we have. I hey Susan, I I understand it. I, I'm I'm just sharing this with you guys. Understood. Uh, with yeah. you ladies to to to, to say that, you know. You know, I, listen. If if I if I if I make it if I if I am hamstrung when it's time to pay my taxes, the, the government, you know, they don't necessarily care about that. They want their taxes from me as a citizen, as a taxpayer, and and I think the same application should be applied to those entities that we support in the name of democracy to. To make sure that they're carrying out their responsibilities and right now, you know, we're, we're not able to do that. We don't have the tools and I just just wanted to make that statement. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Otis. Um, I'd like to go back to Laura a 2nd, um, and I think. I'd like to make sure that we all have clarity on 1 piece that Lisa, the way I heard her. Seem to be saying suggesting that we go ahead and have a motion now. To make the change, um, in some sense, when there is an appropriate time to do so, whereas it seemed like when Otis spoke and he was saying he agreed with Lisa, it sounded like he was saying 
um, something a little less than that, more like we can, we shouldn't do it now and we should kind of wait to see what happens is the sense I got from what Otis was saying. Um, I'd like to ask Otis for further clarification on that, but I'd first like to call upon Lara, who had looked like she might be wanting to say something right after Lisa spoke. Um, no, I'm in agreement with Lisa. Uh, okay. would, that we can make the change and put it in with OIT, knowing it may take months and go ahead and roll out the yeah. form as is just so it can get done. Okay. Um, so, in, in the reference to, to me, Madam Chair, I said I compare with Lisa okay. and Laurel. Okay. And I was just making a statement in reference to the government. An ability so, to get okay. so then, so then the idea would be to have the commission at least take the vote that they wish to have this change. However, not try to, you know, essentially achieve the impossible, which is to do it, you know, on right now. Um, I guess one thing I would like to say then is, would the commission wish? to do something like at least take a moment, not in the middle of the call, I don't mean, but take, a, it take some time to just review the thing again to make sure, actually strike that. Um, would the commission want to wait until after April 30th is over so that any kinds of issues that spring up as a result of people filling out, which what is a slightly modified form could be included in the next request that would be made to the IT group. Anybody have any comments on that? I think, that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea because there might be other edits. I mean, it sounds like it might, like it might be good to not be sending IT is something to create like, like every month and a half. I don't mean to laugh. Um, so, um, is would any other would any commissioner like to be um, like to be heard before I ask for someone to make a motion? Okay, um, Otis, you're on mute. So if you're speaking, I don't hear you. Okay. Okay, so yeah. speaking, uh, madam. Okay, I was on mute. Okay. Okay, so there's nothing else that you want to say right now, correct? That is correct. Okay, so um, would anyone like to make a motion then? I'm happy to make a motion. Thank you, Lisa. So I move that. Um, on form one, schedule one A, um, the drop downs be eliminated with respect to um, the question, which is question number three a place of residence without formal agreement be provided any monetary contribution to the household, and that um, the location of the residence be disclosed without further drop downs. However, IT can do that and that we make the request of IT at a later time uh, after April 30th. I'll second that motion. Okay, is there any discussion? And before I ask for a vote, since we are fortunate to have Susan here and able to fully participate, um, I just want to make sure because Susan is on mute um, to make sure that Susan did not wish to say anything else on this. I mean, I personally believe that that form that language should be there. I think that is a disclosure we really want information on. And I think this is consistent with the state form. But, you know, that's. That's my legal opinion, but you guys can do, you know, if you want to recommend it, that's your call. Yeah. 
Is there any further discussion in light of Susan's comment? Um, I have an observation about what the questions are that follow that, that disclosure. Um, and my observation is that the questions that are asked don't make sense if the person who's making the disclosure doesn't own the property. The questions are, how did you obtain the property? From whom did you purchase the property? What year did you purchase the property? What was the purchase price of the property? Did you own the property by yourself or with others? Did you have a mortgage home equity loan? Second, mortgage liens or other encumbrance of the property, name the lien holder. Does the property generate income for your household? Um, those questions don't make sense if you don't own the property, which is why um, I think it's appropriate that those drop down questions not be asked if there's no ownership interest in the property. So I understand it may be on the, the Maryland form. If, if that's the case, I, I think it similarly doesn't make sense. I guess I would say that it's possible that when um, the commission revisits this after April 30th, that one way to perhaps um, deal with both Susan's and Lisa's comments would be to, for those various drop downs, have there be an option that would be something like not applicable parentheses, no ownership interest. But um, that sounds like a feasible, potentially I'm not IT, but that does sound like another <laughs> potential solution to the issue. Right. Um, so um, is there anybody, we, we, had a, we had a motion. Is there any further discussion? Would anybody like to make a friendly amendment to the motion? And Otis, in case you were wanting to do so, I remind me that you are on mute. Would it be appropriate for me to make a friendly amendment to my own motion? I don't. I don't think you can. <laughs> I think you can withdraw the motion as the movement, um, and then you can restate your motion. I believe that's what you can do, Lisa. I'm not positive, actually. <laughs> so I'm not really not positive. Um, what? So you're looking for a friendly motion to say what? Specifically? Are you looking for a Madam Chair? I wasn't. I wasn't particularly looking for one. I was asking if anybody might want to, because subsequent to the seconding of the motion, there was a comment by Susan and then further discussion. Um, so I was simply asking, does anybody want to have any further discussion or to make a friendly amendment? That's what I was asking. I, I could make a friendly amendment that in, um, Instead of completely eliminating it, that we look into the option of adding uh, not applicable drop down um, option. So that way, if those questions don't make sense, they have a place to select. This doesn't make sense for me. But we don't eliminate it altogether. Question. Um, any. Second to that friendly, or I'm sorry, Lisa, do you accept that second, that friendly amendment? I do. Okay. So now with the friendly amendment, um, having been accepted by Lisa, I believe it does not require a second because Laura has essentially seconded it by making the friendly amendment. Um, therefore, I ask if there is any, if there's any discussion on the amended motion. For our beleaguered note taker, um, and before we vote, I'd like to know if anyone would like to restate the motion. <laughs> Jessica, could restate you write down it. what? Could you write that? Read what you kind of summarized it as. Maybe she could read the motion back. 
Right. Um, so Lisa made the, the motion for form one schedule one a to um, drop down the drop down to eliminate under question three. Um, where it says the location of residence be noted and wants to make that request to it after. April 30th, um, Otis seconded and then Laura's friendly amendment. Um, look into putting the not applicable no ownership drop down as an option, but not to eliminate the question and Laura accepted. Um, um, Lisa accepted the friendly amendment. Okay, is there any, um, so I believe that we've already asked for any discussion on that. So I will now take a vote all in favor of that motion. Aye. Otis? Yes, I said aye. Okay, um, and the motion carries and I thank you and we are complete on this issue. We have one other item, which is the discussion of a complaint. Um, I would like to.